How's it going guys? Welcome back to GVN and we just did a video on the top 5 reasons why you should buy a new 3DS XL. Here are the 5 things that are wrong with the new 3DS XL or the announcement of the 3DS XL. So first off, one of my biggest gripes, the new Majora's Mask bundle with the new 3DS XL. In Europe when you buy this bundle, which is the exact same bundle you're getting here in America, technically, it's the same hardware but you're not getting the game pre-installed into your system, while in Europe you are getting the game for free technically. In America, you have to pay an extra 40 bucks to buy the game on top of just your new 3DS, so that's some bullshit. The second thing with the new 3DS, there is no new 3DS here in North America, just the new 3DS XL. I personally was going for the XL anyway, but a lot of the people wanted to get the base place, wanted to get that customization, and that just kind of sucks because a lot of people were looking forward to it, and now they either have to import the system and play just Japanese or European games, whatever they want, but they can't play the games they, they sell in their own country just because Nintendo doesn't want to release a second SKU uh, here in North America, which is just terrible. And relating to that is number three, because we don't have this awesome customization in North America with our new 3DS, the even color scheme for the new 3DS XL is kind of boring. We have a black model and a red model, and that's it. Red, I don't think, is a very popular color. Black is given because a lot of things just come out in either black or white, but that's the thing, we don't get a white model, which is a pretty awesome color in my opinion. Uh, while the regular new 3DS came in a white color, we're not getting that here in North America because we're not getting in a, a regular new 3DS. So the color scheme's very terrible in my opinion. Number four is no AC adapter. This is just weird because Nintendo is ballsy enough to be like, you guys have one, you guys probably have one, so you know, you guys can just use the old one. That's pretty ballsy of Nintendo, and just in general, imagine for me, it doesn't matter because I have a DSi, a 3DS, and a 3DS XL, so I have a couple of chargers laying around. It doesn't apply to me, but to the mom who's going out to GameStop to go purchase a new 3DS XL for their kid for the first time, brings it home, it's charged like 20%, then the thing dies, then the kid's ask, looking for the charger, asking where it is, and there's no charger. It's just very complicated to the new consumer. And I'm sure GameStop employees will mention this, but it's just more of a hassle for the general consumer. And I know they've been doing this in Japan for a while now, but it just seems like a very taboo thing to do here in North America. And finally, number five, not much game incentives to actually upgrade to the new 3DS XL. Currently, the big incentive uh, with Majora's Mask and getting the new 3DS XL is being able to move the camera with the C-Stick. That's about it. There's not much of a big reason to upgrade unless you're either adopting the new 3DS family, like you're upgrading just because you're a diehard Nintendo fan, or B, you just never had a 3DS and you want to get into it. Uh, aside from that, there's you know there's no big thing that's coming out with it to play it. So I don't know, unless you're a diehard fan or you're just jumping into the 3DS bandwagon, there isn't that much of an incentive to buy this new product. But those were the five things I found wrong with the announcement of the new 3DS XL here in North America. You know, there's a couple of good things, a couple of bad things, and you can't even see the top five good things about it and the top five bad things now uh, with this new announcement. So in the comments below, tell me what you think of the new 3DS XL. Are you picking it up? Uh, what do you think about these announcements? Do you think it sucks how they announce it? Do you uh, agree that some of these features are great enough for an upgrade right now? Tell me in the comment section below. I personally am getting it mostly because I'm a really diehard Nintendo fan. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a like. Share it with your friends. I greatly appreciate that. It really helps me out and helps grow the channel and community overall. So thank you guys very much for those of you who do take the time to like and share. Uh, and in general, thanks just overall for watching, everyone. If you guys want to keep up to date with me, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, if you guys want to see me play video games live on Twitch, check out those links in the description below. We can play some Smash Brothers, some Mario Kart, and a couple of other games uh, live together. It'll be fun. And again, thank you all very much for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to GBN, and in this video, we'll be counting down the top five reasons why you should be purchasing a brand new 3DS XL or the new 3DS XL. So the first reason is the improved 3D tracking. This is actually the reason I'm most excited for it. Uh, it's not even the C-Stick because basically there aren't many games that are supporting this yet. But the 3D uh, is way better on the new 3DS basically because it includes...